Hello. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I, as was said, my name is Bernie Stern. I am a uh, film producer in uh, Los Angeles. Um, James Kerwin from the Helicon, Helicon Arts Cooperative um, had a vision to recreate uh, RUR. And um, that's what we are trying to do. Um, so in the, in the effort to do that, we've put together a seven minute um, short film as a proof of concept. Um, because of the nature of this play, uh, specifically the humor that was taken in the first act specifically, and um, the discussion of artificial humans and uh, the roles that they play, not only as workers, but um, specifically tailored to needs both uh, in war and um, pleasure. Uh, the, the time period that we sought to use um, seemed fitting to be 1969. Um, specifically the Barbarella style, um, and uh, like Star Trek and Barbarella, this kind of vision of an alternate future from where it was written in 1920, um, taken 50 years into the future um, from where they were and then doing it um, our way. So um, I'd like to show you what we came up with. When you talk about this specific time period, um, the concern has always come up: um, Is it going to feel just like Austin Powers, or you know, is it going to have this like kind of comical um, ridiculousness to it? Um, there's definitely an amount of humor that we're going for, but what we were really trying to attempt was: Can you set a straightforward um, sci-fi film um, in this? elevated time period and have it come off um, in an interesting way. So um, this is what we came up with. Um, we tried specifically to replicate the way in which films were made in that specific time period. Um, the Loma anamorphic lenses, for example, the look and feel of um, the way things move in and out of focus when you when you change what your focus, like your, your specific subject is. Um, and uh, like, for example, even the title cards, the way that they shake with names and things like that, um, setting it in a way so that it has that exact feel. Um, it's something that wasn't, um, hasn't been done recently and, and something that we were very much trying to do um, this way. Again, I think that the, the reason for setting it in this specific time period fits so well for us um, because if you, if you go back and read the play, um, it, it's, it's very contained. Um, all the characters are representative of um, larger bodies of people. Um, you know, the, the main players in the play are these, these six humans um, and a few artificials, um, but they're all representative of, of humankind in general. Um, and so you need something broad, um, but, but more so, they're, it's, it's very humorous, they're very um, snarky and flirtatious and um, kind of ridiculous in, in a very humorous way. And so we felt that this, this specific time period was right for it. So, um, yeah, that's our film. We're, we're trying to make um, a much larger feature film out of this. Um, so the script that we put together is, is very much like the original play, um, tries to stay true to the themes and um, even uses much of the same dialogue. Um, and yeah, that's what we're aiming to do. So, um, 
it was definitely an honor to be invited to come and show our film here uh, in the birthplace of this source material. Um, thank you for watching.